This is to demonstrate how a workshop is submitted in, in uh, Seneca College in, the, in uh, most of the, uh, C, um, the language classes. So um, uh, first we, we assume that um, you know how to download the description of the workshop and go through the description and do what you're supposed to do. So as we, I, I assume that this is um, done, I open Visual Studio on my local computer and I have done what it's supposed to do and I compiled my program and we'll assume that in the description of the workshop it says that we have to create a program that prints hellos back to back and it asks right at the beginning please enter the number of hellos please enter number of hellos and I'm gonna head you have to enter 10 then it prints the values and I see this it looks like I did right everything is right so now I'm ready to submit this to my professor uh, the very first thing that you need to do is to open W uh, uh, when uh, SCP log into your uh, matrix account so it's matrix Seneca College CA username and your password it logs into your application hopefully you have a place that you have these things set now I'm gonna say in, for example IPC 144 um, I am going to create a new directory and I'm gonna put that one WX workshop 10 workshop 2 so X could be any workshop and inside that one I'm gonna create a new directory I'm gonna call at home just to be organized you can do as you please so then I'm gonna go to the directory at left side I have a computer so I'm gonna go to the directory in which I'm doing my stuff and let's say this at home is the one that I want to submit so um, please note that I put my demo dot WS with capital M over here that's intentional um, now I'm gonna open the at home directory over here uh, transfer settings set to text drag this one and drop it into the matrix account now I have it in the matrix again. Now I'm going to open a party session. Log into matrix again. Matrix Seneca College CA. Oops, mistake. One more time. Matrix Seneca College CA user ID password okay I'm gonna go to IPC 144 in that one I had WX so I'm gonna go to WX that's my workshop in that one I'm gonna go to at home and now I have my program so first I have to compile it and make sure it works over here so I'll call GCC dash wall my demo dot C dash O and I'm gonna call it W workshop X that's what I created looks okay so I'm gonna type WX test it seems to be okay now I'm gonna try and submit we assume that in the documentation of your workshop it is requested to put the name um, uh, 144 WX at home and now I'm gonna write it over here so I'm gonna say tilde name of your professor slash submit and then this thing that I am written writing over here WX home this part is written in the workshop what it's supposed to be so I'll try to submit it and I hit enter the very first thing that I see over here it says my demo dot C is missing so there's an error I am missing a file so I'll take a look I pay attention I see what is the name of the file I'll make sure that I have exactly that file when I do a directory I'll see this is capitalized so I have to fix that problem I'm going to say move my demo to the proper name now I'll try submission again 
this time it says reflect.txt is missing because it's the at home section I need reflect.txt so I'll fix that and I'll be reflect.txt reflecting on my workshop and escape X I get out of that one so now I have reflect.txt try to submit again now the most important thing is that to read the information that you see over there carefully now it says read the following carefully I am about to execute a tester and script the output into output.txt so that's the file the output file that you are going to have please enter the values carefully and exactly as instructed so I'm gonna press enter now it says type WS and hit enter use the test data specified in workshop submission demo for IPC 144 to test the program when done type exit and hit enter to continue with submission process that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put first WS hit enter in their number of hellos now this is the one that I have to put 10 now on purpose I'm gonna put over here 12 and I hit enter it seems that it's okay I'm gonna type exit as it asks me and as you see over here it says the output should be please enter number of hellos 10 but your output is enter number of hellos 12 which means you were supposed to put 10 but you put 12 it points to what is wrong so now I know I made a mistake I'm gonna fix it submit again WS now I'm gonna put over here 10 and hit enter and I'm gonna go exit it says success outputs match would you like to submit the demonstration of um, the, the, uh, for workshop submission demo for whatever so that it tells you what it is then you say hit yes Y and hit enter if you see this message thank you your workshop is now submitted it means your workshop is submitted you are done you don't need to do anything else if not then you have to go back and fix now just to show you what happens if your um, uh, file is incorrect the values that you have um, I'm gonna make a mistake in my uh, program uh, make some mistake on purpose so I'm gonna go and add my demo.c now intentionally I'm gonna make a mistake over here let's say I'm gonna mm, uh, uh, remove a semicolon over here all right escape X I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna try and submit like if you take a look it says you have compilation errors please open error.txt to view and correct them so you have to actually open error.txt and see so either you can let it to see exactly what it is or you can cat it and let is to open for edit which you don't need or you can say cat error.txt and it shows over here exactly what's going on it says in function main my demo line 5 column 2 there is an error that uh, it tells you exactly what is wrong and where so you have to fix that so I'm gonna fix it now okay so I'm gonna fix it now I'm gonna put the semicolon over there but intentionally I'm gonna make this hello lowercase okay so I'm gonna go to escape X try to submit again WS 10 and exit now if you see it says the output should be one hello but your output is that the reason that it actually shows you the ASCII code over here is that sometimes what you see is invisible as characters that they don't have uh, like space and tab and things like that if there is mistakes like that it needs to mention what is the hexadecimal value for it so you can see what it is I'll demonstrate so let me first fix that one I'm gonna make this hello capitalized and in here let's say instead of just backslash in, I'm gonna put an extra space okay and I'm gonna go escape X I'm going out I'm gonna try to submit again 
WS 10 exit and now take a look you see it says hello they seem to be the same but when you look at it, it says professors character ASCII code is hex D if you go to the uh, ASCII chart you will see that hex D is actually new line or decimal T decimal 13 and then it says unmatched character is hex 20 if you look at it that's gonna be space so you know it was a new line but you put a space instead and then you fix it and you submit it and it's done again when you fix the submission and everything is okay as soon as you see the message telling you that you have submitted uh, the assignment successfully it means there is no need to worry about if your assignment have been delivered or not it is delivered and you are good to go so now I'm gonna type exit again success now I'm gonna click yes uh, sorry enter yes and then it says thank you your work is now submitted therefore you have your assignment done thank you very much and have a beautiful day